Hello, good evening, Alexandra, Byron, Emma, Christine. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Very good, teacher. I am rainy. Oh, how say it? Uh, what do you want to say? Is it rainy? It's rainy. Ah, okay, it's rainy there. Esperemos que no se vaya la luz o el internet. How was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo su día el día de hoy? Yeah. Excellent, perfect, amazing. It was great. It was Excellent. Ah, okay, that's great. So tonight is our last class, right? So finally the day come and today we are going to finish the beginner three English course. So tonight we are going to have a feedback of the topic that we studied during this course. I hope that you remember some of them. So we are going to solve some exercises. You are going to help me a lot tonight. But before to go to the exercises, I want to ask you about the platform. Have you already completed the exercises there? Or are some exercises that are still missing? ¿Ya completaron todos la plataforma o hay algún ejercicio que les quedó por ahí? We are still on time. Todavía podemos revisarlos if you want. Yes, it's complete. It's finished. Oh, you have already finished all the exercises and evaluation. That's great. Yes, I am finished. How was the final exam? Was it easy or was it difficult? Oh, so, so. It was easy. It was easy. Okay. Can you say it easy? was easy? Oh, but I don't say it was easy too. Okay, and Edma, what do you think? Was it easy or difficult? Was easy. Ah, it was easy. Oh, that's great. Then, a la primera sacaron 10? Yes. 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 Algunas etapas, yes. En algo otra, no. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. No problem. Eh, recuerden que la plataforma es para que ustedes practican lo más posible. ¿verdad? Entonces no había ningún problema si usted cometía algún error. Eh, estuvo intentando. ¿no? Hay algunas oraciones ahí que sí estaban un poco complicadas. Tuvo que escribirla en unos tres intentos para que quedara súper bien. Ok, so let's start with tonight class. Welcome again. Today we are going to say bye bye at the end of the class. But before to that, we are going to go with this. Uh, I hope that you remember this topic, that we are going to have a feedback. This is the topic for tonight, feedback of the course. Vamos a tener una retroalimentación de algunos temas que vimos en el curso. So, welcome to the class 16. This is the last class of this course. And here we go. Future tense. Do you remember this? It was the first topic of this course. Future tense. We are going to complete the following sentences. Use am, is, or are. So, let's take a look at the first one. So, we are going to cook roasted meat the next weekend. What is the correct form of the verb to be to complete this sentence in future? Are. Yeah. Okay. Are. What about the second one? Is. Am. Um. Um, I am. Ah, okay. I am going to have a party. The next one, number three. Um. Okay, you are going to come to my party. Number four. Is. She's going to buy some greens. Number five. Is. Is again. Number six. Is. 
Any number, number seven. Uh -huh. Okay. So we are going to complete them right now. Then let me see. You say the first one is R. Any volunteer to read the first one? We are going to cook roasted meat. Who wants? Who wants? Any volunteer? I'm going to start. Do our she. Okay, she is. He is. Um, yes. He is. It is. It is. It is. And there and is. There are. There are. They are. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's take a look at the structure we use to make these time sentences. We need a subject, we need the verb be, then we need going to, to the verb and the in com and complement. And this is the structure to make sentences to talk about future tense using going to. And I have here the examples. We are going to cook roasted meat. I am going to have a party. You are going to come to my party. She is going to buy some drinks. He's going to buy some snacks. It is going to be fantastic. They are going to make the salad. So I have a question for you. What are you going to do next weekend? Can you tell me a couple of sentences? What are you going to do next weekend? Anyone? Following this structure, so you say, I am going to the action and the complement. I am going to go shopping, for example. I am going to go to the mall. I am going to clean my house. I am, go, I am going to visit my parents. So what, do, what are you going to do? Just to answer and we're going to move to the next exercise. Just two, just two volunteers. Who wants? Tell me. Today is our last class, so let's practice. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Cristina. Thank you so much. What are you going to do next weekend? I'm going to have a party. Excellent. I'm going to have a party. Thank you so much. Any other answer? What are you going to do next weekend? One, two, three, any volunteer? Then I'm going to choose Byron. Can you please help me? The answer. The answer. Okay, you are yes. going to come to my party. Okay, I'm going to... You say, you are going to come to my party? Okay, that's a great sentence. Future plans, don't forget, subject, verb, be going to, verb, and complement for affirmative sentences. And also we study this. Let me raise the note. Yeah. Complete the following negative sentences correctly. We are going to complete the next. So number one. Negative sentence. Yes, I am, but it's a negative sentence. What do I need? Um, I am not. I am not. Okay, I am not. I am not going to celebrate Christmas. The second one. She is not. She is not. She's not. She is not going to have a birthday party. Okay, let's complete it. You say, I'm not in the first one. She is not. She is, she's not. She teacher, is teacher, um, para, para decir Feliz Navidad is Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas is the expression. Merry Hold Christmas. It. Can you please repeat? Oh. ¿Por qué no es correcto decir Happy Christmas? O sea, Feliz Navidad, como oh, en español. That is just an expression, right? Es una expresión que así se utiliza, Merry Christmas, para referirse a esa festividad. Ah, ok. Para dar buenos deseos, 
Merry Christmas. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go with the next one. Thank you for your question. Number three. It's not stay on the next holiday. Holiday. Okay, he is not. He is not. Um, ¿Qué más le hace falta? He is not stay home the next holiday. It is. No, 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 ya no. He is not, not stay home the next holiday. What is this? Home, going, stay, no? Stay. Ah, okay. He is not going. Going to, to ah, to it. <laughs> he is not going to stay home the next holiday. Let's see the next. They, there are is going to. They are not going. They are not going to. They are not going. They are not going to travel to Europe. Okay, and let's see if there's another one. Let's see if it's the last one. That is the last one. Oh, so yeah, we need B. subject for B. Then we not, need to add not going, going to, to bird, the main words and the complement. So in this way, we make negative sentences using going to to talk about our future plans. Subject for B, not going to bird and complement. I need one, one volunteer who wants to try reading these sentences. Tell me, please. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, I am not going to celebrate Christmas. The next one. Uh, she is not going to have a birthday party. She is not going to stay home the next holiday. There are not going to. Um, no sé cómo se dice try. Travel. They are travel not going to, to travel Europe. to Europe. 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 Yes. Europe. They are not ah, going Europa. to travel to Europe. Europe. Okay, I'm going to choose Karen Lopez. Can you help me please? Karen, reading these four sentences. Okay. Hello, Karen. Can you help me? Ah, okay, thank you so much, Edma. I am not going to celebrate Christmas. She's not going to, to have a birthday party. He's not going to stay on the next holiday. They are not going to travel to Europe. Okay, excellent. So don't forget about the structure. Negative sentences. Subject will be not going to bird and complement. Let's see this here, note, and let's go with the next. Then we have questions. Do you remember how to make questions? Let's see the first one. Or oh, let's see the structure here. Bear B, uh, One question. Yes. Um, for ¿Por qué dicen que cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés no se debe traducir al español? Porque si yo no traduzco, no entiendo qué estoy diciendo. Ah, ok. Bueno, ese es más un proceso, uh, como le digo, de nuestra mente, ¿verdad? Que nosotros eh, tenemos que traducir todo para poder entender, pero debemos de irnos acostumbrando a... Por ejemplo, la frase que usted me decía, ¿por qué no digo Happy Christmas? Eh, es lógico, ¿verdad? Que en español decimos Feliz Navidad. Dice, ¿y por qué no voy a decir Happy Christmas? ¿Y por qué ellos dicen Merry Christmas? Entonces, ah, es que debemos aprendernos frases. ¿verdad? Frases y, y algunas de ellas no debemos buscar la traducción en español, literalmente, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando dicen que pensemos en inglés, eh, significa como automáticamente usar esa respuesta, esas frases que hemos aprendido. 
a eso se refiere. Cuando dice, piensa en inglés, eh, no traduzca. Entonces, sí, tenemos que aprendernos las frases cabales ¿verdad? y eh, ocuparlas en el momento exacto. Pero eso necesita práctica. ¿verdad? Para eso necesitamos practicar bastante porque es bien difícil. Eh, porque nosotros tenemos que ir traduciendo. Al principio vamos traduciendo todo lo que escuchamos o lo que leemos. Y así se vuelve un poquito más difícil el idioma. Entonces debemos aprender frases y utilizarlas, ver en qué momento va cada una de ellas y utilizarlas en el momento que se necesita. Eso okay. significa, piense en inglés, bueno, no traduzca, dice. Pero decirlo sí. es más fácil que hacerlo. <risa> but, but we can, of course, that we can. Por supuesto que podemos a través de la práctica. ¿no? Si usted okay. practica todos los días, después las respuestas le van a venir ¿verdad? en el momento. Ah, okay, the next question: Are you going to a shopping? Are you going to a shopping? Say, sí. inmediatamente yes, te va a decir: Yes, I am. No, I Yes, not. I am. Yes, I or, am shopping. No, I'm not. Is he going to buy cloth? He is going to. What is a good answer? Cloth? Is he going to buy cloth? Yes. Yes, she is. Oh, yes, he is. Or no, he she or is. no, she isn't. Are they going to use their credit card? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, they aren't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he going to buy a car? Yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Okay, and are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are, or no, we aren't. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Yes, so, for equation, we need to follow this structure. Verb be, subject, going to, verb, complement, and the question mark. Then we have information question. We also studied information question. For information question, we need WH word. What is known as WH word? They are what, when, where, uh, why, which, who, what, we, how, how, when. How, when. Okay, that's it. Who. Entonces, para hacer una pregunta de información, siempre va a ir al inicio uh, de la W is work. Then we have the verb be, the subject, going, going to, to the verb, the complement, and ¿cómo se llama? El question signo? mark. The question mark, yes. So question let's mark. Take, let's take a look at the following example. What are what you, are going, you to going to do for Valentine's Day? Day? Then you say, um, it's an information question. I have to give information. Tengo que dar información. So what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Imagínese que es mañana. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to celebrate with my, how do you say, pareja? Oh, with my boyfriend, girlfriend, oh, partner, partner. With my husband. <laughs> Husband. With my partner, husband. Okay. Excellent. That is a good plan. Any other plans? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? See, I'm going to. I'm going to have dinner. Okay, I'm going to have a dinner. That's nice. So the next one, what are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? Then you say, I'm going to listen to music. I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to stay at home. I'm going to go out with my family. I'm going to visit a museum. I'm going to I'm go going to, to the supermarket. I'm going to play a game. Uh, I'm going to rest. Voy a descansar. So I'm going to clean my house. I'm going I'm to... Going to sleep. I'm going no. to sleep. Yes, I'm going to sleep. I'm going um, to the cinema. Okay, I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to visit cinema. That's great. 
Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to go to the gym. Or oh, I'm going to do exercise. I am going, going to, to the park. Excellent. I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to one shop. I'm going to <laughs> one shop. Um, can you speak <laughs> a little bit loud, please? I'm going to what? Oh, chat. Ah, okay. Chat. I'm going to chat. <laughs> I'm going to chat with my friend. Then you say, I'm going to text. Chat, no chat. Chat. Ah, can you spell the word for me, please? <laughs> chat. Chat. Eso. <laughs> ah, okay. Where are you going to travel? It's another question that which place are you going to visit? Where are you going to travel? Oh, I'm going to travel. Where are you going to travel? To San Miguel. Okay, you say I'm going to travel to San Miguel. That's great. I'm going to travel to Spain. I'm going to travel to Spain. Okay, ahí me lleven la maleta. What are you, where, 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 where are you going? And do you have any questions about how to use going to? Todavía hay dudas de cómo utilizar el going to? This is the moment. Ahora o nunca. Teacher, esto sería solo en el caso de, que, <coughs> perdón, en el caso que se vayan a realizar actividades al futuro, ¿verdad? Así es. Es para hablar acerca del futuro. Y son planes o intenciones que usted tiene para el futuro. ¿Futuro cercano o futuro lejos, teacher? Mm. Vale, cuando utilizamos going to, significa que ya tenemos ese plan, ¿vale? Ya tenemos hecho ese plan. So, si yo le pregunto, what are you going to do next weekend? So, ah, usted ya tiene planeado. Dice, I'm going to listen to music, I'm going to stay home. Ya tiene un plan. Eh, okay. Pero digamos si algo va a suceder dentro de tres años. Pero usted ya está ahorrando. Entonces, I'm going to go to Spain. O I am going to travel to Spain. Pero ya lleva 300 dólares en la cuenta. Entonces ahí podemos utilizar going to también. Ya okay. es un plan verdad que usted tiene. Ya ha comenzado. If no, we can use will, right? I will. También que es el otro auxiliar, I will. I will travel to Spain. Bueno, eso es una intención. Uh, I will travel to Spain, pero no tengo ni el pasaporte. Then say I will travel. Como una posibilidad, podríamos decir. Mm -hmm. Como una posibilidad. Bueno, ¿es that clear? ¿Quién we go to the next? Ok, let's go with the next topic. In this course, we also study this, talking about health problems. Do you remember this vocabulary? Look at the picture, for example. What's wrong with her? Mm. She has a toothache. Ok, she has a toothache. We use the verb have, right? to talk about health problems. She has a toothache. Then let's see, what's the matter? We we'll study these two questions. What's the matter and also what's wrong? We use them when somebody say, uh, okay. how, how do you feel today? And you say, I feel sick. Then you immediately say, what's wrong? What's the matter? And the other person is going to say, I, I have a stomach ache. I have a headache. I have sore throat, I have the flu, I have a rash. Then, for example, I have a cold. She has a rice, she has a back cage. And look at here, what's the matter with here? What's the she matter has with a stomach? Stomach. Yes. 
Ah, ok, excellent. She has a stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. What's the matter with her? She has a cold. Oh, she has a cold or she has the she flu? She has, has a voice. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? No, he has a has... headache. He has a headache, excellent. He has a headache. Then also we use imperative sentences to give advice. Uh, when you answer, what's the matter? You say, I have a toothache. Usted inmediatamente dice, ah, usted, tú no debes de comer helado. Tú debes ir al dentista. Usando impera oraciones imperativas podemos dar consejos. So go to the dentist. Don't eat ice cream. Don't drink cold drinks. Don't drink. And let's say, for example, if I say, what's the matter with him? And say, eh, what's wrong with you? What the pasa? Y esta persona le dice, I have a headache. Tengo dolor de cabeza. Utilizando oraciones imperativas, ¿qué consejo le daría? Take a pill. Okay, say take a pill. Take acid, mm -hmm. acetaminophen. Take an aspirin. Take an aspirin. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más le recomendaría? Going to rest. Okay, rest. Descanse, o sea, rest. Recuerde que una oración imperativa puede ser un solo verbo. Por ejemplo, cuando le dicen stop, stop, deténgase, alto, relax, relájese. Silent, silencio. So, what about for a stomach age? What's the matter with you? So, I have a stomach age. Stomach ache. ¿Qué consejos le darían? Use imperative sentences. Don't eat so much. Okay, that is one. In an excellent one, don't eat too much. Any other? Take a uh, alka seltzer. Take an alka seltzer, yes. Don't eat fat food. Mm -hmm. Fat food. Excellent, Carla. Don't eat fast food. No, coma comida chatarra, comida rápida, don't eat fast food. And for the flu, if somebody say to you, I have the flu. Which take, a, take a vaccine okay. every four hours. Yes, take a vaccine every. Take a soup. Drink tea. Drink hot tea. Drink hot tea. Excellent. Excellent ideas. So don't forget what's the matter, what's going on, and also health problems. And then we study this. Which places can you find in this map? Which places can you see in this map? Parking lot, bank, library, grocery store, video store, McDade's, courthouse, police station, city elementary school, city middle school, city high school, barber shop, beauty shop, daycare center, city park, fire station, drugstore, bakery, coffee house, city clinic. Okay, thank you so much. Perfect. We can find all of these places here in this um, city map. So we studied the preposition of place, right? To identify or to locate places in the city. Let's see, for example, what is the bakery? In this case, we can use on the corner of and also next to. Can you say the sentence? The bakery is on the corner of. It's on the corner of Front Street and Short Avenue. Thank you so much. And also the bakery is next to the... 
City, City, City Clinic. City Clinic. Where is the coffee house? Where's the coffee house? Coffee house, where's the coffee house? Behind to City Clinic. Okay, the coffee house is behind the city clinic. And where is the bank? Uh, where is the bank? The corner Long Avenue. Okay, it's on Long Avenue. Oh. It's on Long Avenue. Or oh, the bank is behind the grocery store and then we use this preposition right to say the location of the places in the city where is the fire station and the fire station is behind the doctor and the coffee house where is the city park the city park is next to the city middle school and where is the barber shop the barber shop is on the corner of long avenue and back street where is the, let's see, daycare center. The daycare center is next to the beauty shop. Or you can say the daycare center is on back street. And then we study the next. Do you remember about this expression? Go straight, turn right, turn left, walk on. And we have the preposition next to, between, behind, on, on the corner of, across from, and in front of. Do you remember go straight? What is the meaning of go straight? Let's go with this. Okay, imagínense que estoy en este punto, en este puntito. And I want to go to the city clinic. Can you help me to get to the city clinic? Recuerdan la pregunta? Excuse me, can you tell me? How can I get? How can I get to the city clinic? And then you say go stride or walk along. No, on Long Avenue. Long then, Avenue. Turn, turn. Right or left? Right. Right. Right on the first right. step. Right. And then you say the clinic is left. Left. next to the bakery. And then you are on the clinic. Well, like where I can Okay, now let's see another point. I'm going to erase this. Estoy en el mismo punto acá en esta X, in this point, and I want to go to the fire station. Can you help me, please? How can I get to the fire station? Long Avenue. Can you say, go straight. Long Avenue. Ok, aquí voy recto. Right. Turn right. Turn right. And then turn left. Turn left. For Short Avenue. Uh -huh. And you are in the first station. Right. Next to the drugstore. Right. Drugstore. Ah, uh -huh. then the fire station is next to the drugstore. Uh -huh. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Um, de ese mismo punto, I want to go to the city park. First Back is um, Okay, go straight. Right or right. 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 Back strip. Back strip. Uh, no, no, se vaya, teacher. Quiere decir <laughs> at city park. Ah, okay. I'm going to the city park. The from dry car center. 
Okay, the city park is in front of the daycare centers. Okay, now I am in the park. Thank you so much. I am playing on the swing. Do you like to play on the swing? ¿Todavía les gusta jugar en los columpios? Ya no. Ya no quedo. Desde ah, que no <laughs> <risa> en los okay. columpios en los columpios en el sube sí. y baja sí. well then we use this expression to give direction to give direction then let's go with the next don't forget about the end go straight on right on left walk on next to between behind on on the corner of, across from, and finally oh, oh. in front of. Yeah. Then we study this other topic, the simple past tense. Do you remember? Subject was where in complement. Simple past tense with the verb to be. The verb to be has to form in simple past. Was and also where. And this is the structure that we need to make affirmative sentences in this tense. So subject was or where plus a complement. So look at this example. Any volunteer to read this example? I was sad yesterday. Okay, thank you. I was sad yesterday. The next one. You was at the shopping mall. Okay, perfect. And then the last one. They were polite. They, they were, were polite. polite. So I was sad yesterday. She was at the shopping mall. They were polite. Then we have this other part. Negative sentences using the verb to be. We have, or we need a subject, was or where, not plus complement. That is the structure that we need to follow. Subject, the simple pass of the verb to be, was or where not in the company. Who wants to read the next example? He was not angry. Thank you, Anna. He was not angry. The next. Not you were not at house yesterday. You were not at home yesterday. Y si contractamos ese sonido, was not, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Was was it wasn't was it contract was on the where plus not you weren't no you weren't so i was she was he was you were they were and we were in the tell of this was in where to was in where in simple past tense with the verb to be questions how to make question using the verb to be in past easy right was or where at the beginning of the sentence subject complement and the question mark easy where do you seek last month who wants to read the next one Was what? high school easy for you? Thank you. And the last one. Were they busy yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. yesterday. Were you busy yesterday? What is a good answer for the first one? Were you sick last month? Then it is a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Wasn't. Was high school easy for you? Yes, I was. Uh, okay, in this case, no, we are talking about high school. Vamos a sustituirlo por el pronombre it. So you say, yes, it was, or no, it. Mm, okay, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. ¿Cómo fue el bachillerato para usted? Muy fácil, easy, or difficult? Easy. Easy, okay, it was easy. Then the next one, were they busy yesterday? You say, yes, they were, 
No, they went. Yes, no question. Now, W's work. Information question. Siempre la W's work at the beginning of the sentence. Was for where, subject, complement in the question mark. Where were you on the weekend? Lo anduvimos buscando. ¿Dónde estuvo el fin de semana? Where were you on the weekend? And then you say, I was at the beach. I was uh, where? I was at home. I was at my father's house. I was in the park. Where were you on the weekend? Why were you angry? So why were you angry? It's asking for a reason. ¿Por qué estabas enojado? Where were you angry? When was your wedding ceremony? Okay. When was your wedding ceremony? ¿Cuándo fue su boda? La ceremonia de su boda. Oh, then you say it was uh, two years ago. It was last year. Then was and where. Do you have any question about how to use was and where? Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and information questions. Questions? Preguntas, dudas? No question. Bueno, espero que no se les olviden las estructuras, right? So help me answer in the following question. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? In this case, you have to answer with verbs in simple past. Pueden ser verbos regulares o verbos irregulares. What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? ¿Qué actividades realizó? I worked. Okay, excellent. I worked. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? Help me. Let's practice. Okay. I'm going to choose somebody. I went to. Oh. I went to the park. I went to the park. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Any other sentence? What did you do? What did you do yesterday? I cleaned my house. Excellent. I cleaned my house. Any other sentence? I Last work time. my house. Okay. I work at home. I work at home. Where did you go last weekend? Then you say, I listened to music. I cooked. I washed the dishes, I went to a party, I painted my house, I danced, I go swimming, I go out with my, uh, sorry, I went out with my friends. So the activities that you did last weekend. Any answer? Where, oh, oh no, sir, where did you go last weekend? ¿A dónde fue el fin de semana pasado? Where did you go last weekend? Visitó algún lugar. So I say I stayed home. Estuve en casa. Did you go shopping? This is a yes no question. You have to say yes I did or no I didn't. Did you go shopping? No I didn't. Yes I did. Then did you stay at home? Estuvo usted en casa? No I didn't. Yes I did. Ah, okay, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. When did you last go to the movies? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue al cine? Yes, I went yesterday. I went okay, excellent. I yesterday. went to the movies yesterday. I went to the movies last year. I went to the movies 10 years ago. Cuando andábamos de novios me llevó. Llevamos cinco años de casado y no me llevado ni una vez. When did you last go to the movie? Uh -huh. <laughs> What movie did you watch? ¿Qué película vio? 
Mm -hmm. What movie did you watch? I, I, I watched. I was the Titanic. Okay, I watched. Oh, uh, I watched Jurassic World. I watched Jurassic World. Which other one? I watched Spider-Man. I watched Spider-Man, Far From Home. I watched uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, okay. Then... I watched... Um... Sonic. Okay, Sonic. I watched Sonic 2. Yes. Okay, yes, no question again. Did you exercise yesterday? Mm, no, I didn't. I... What was the best meal you ate recently? Then you say it was beans and rice. ¿Cuál fue la mejor comida que comió recientemente? You say it was. It I... was fish. Yeah. It was fish. I was chicken. It was chicken. chicken. Hello, Alejandra. Chicken with? Chicken nuggets. Nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yeah, chicken did nuggets. You, did you play video game last night? No, I didn't. Ah, it's a yes no question. Did you play video game last night? Cristina say no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I went to start studying. Ah, okay. No, I didn't. So you say I was studying. Were you good in science in high school? It is a Simple pass with the verb be. Were you good in science? Era usted una buena estudiante en ciencia? Were you good in science? Then you say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Okay. And did you make a new friend this month? Hizo amigos nuevos este mes. Did you make new friends this month? Yes, I made. Okay. So yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. I made friends. Okay. Yes, I did. I made two new friends. I yes. made one new friend. Yes, That's I great. Made. What was the last thing you ate? So you say it was pizza, it was hamburger, it was pupusas. It was, it was it soap. soup. Okay, it was soap. soap. It was soap. That's great. So simple past. Question in simple past. Do you have any question? Preguntas acerca de las preguntas en pasado? <laughs> question about the questions? No. <laughs> okay, do you have any question about this? No, then let's say a final look of the final exam on the platform. So let's go with this. What was the most difficult exercise here on the platform in the final exam? All of them were easy. Todos estuvieron muy fáciles. Okay, this was the final exam. It has six questions. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Why don't don't make the next level? Only number five. And which one? Uh, as exercise. Mm -hmm. 
uh, why don't advance? Uh, after the final exam. Yes. ¿Por qué no ve el siguiente nivel? Sí. Ah, eh, tienen que inscribirlo. Ah, ok. Tienen que enviar sus datos y tienen que inscribirlo para que se le habilite la plataforma. Ya estoy inscrito, ya me contestaron diciéndome eso, pero no lo puedo ver. Ah, ok. El, eh, pero no le mandaron el link, las credenciales como para este módulo, que le enviaron un mensajito con el grupo de WhatsApp. Y... No, solo un correo diciéndome que ya estaba procesada la información. Ah, ok. Entonces hay que esperar a que abran el curso, a que le inscriban y que le den sus credenciales otra vez. Ah, para, poder, para entrar al siguiente curso. Ah, ok, ok. Michelle no sabe cuándo inicia en el otro, no han dicho. Mm, generalmente se tarda entre do, una o dos semanas para comenzar el otro. Hay un receso, hay un receso de una o dos semanas, a veces hasta tres. A veces cuatro. <risa> Se hace grande. Espera también la vez pasada. Se hace grande el receso. <risa> ok, Grandísimo. so it was the final exam. Este fue el examen final. That this is the listening part. Was it easy or difficult? Do you remember the answer? Where are Helen and Mark? Can you listen? Yeah. Yes? Yes, go. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Okay, that was number one. A bank in the department store, a bank in gas station, a gas station. In a department store, where I'm heading in Mark going. Bank in a department store. Okay, the first one, bank in a department store. Okay, we need to fix this in the platform. A bank in a department store. Okay, let's listen the second. Let's see if it is working. Oh, then let's go and play it here. Oh, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. What's the answer in this part? On 2nd Street, on, on the corner the, of... On the corner of 1st and Main. Okay. Three. In number 3, how did you get there? 3. Um... So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What's the answer? Walk up second, walk up second to Main and turn right. Ah, okay, and turn right. In the last one, what is Mark going to buy? What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? 
How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. What's the answer? What is Mark going to buy? A sweater. A sweater. Buy a sweater. Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Okay, guys. So, do you have any question? Then you have to complete the sentences in this part. Select the best answer in the other one. Match the verb with the correct word phrases. I am pretty sure that you have already go through this exercise. You have already gone through this exercise. And you did a great job during this course. Any question about the reading part? No questions? Okay, if you don't have any questions, we're going to stop here the class. And I just want to say thank you for all these nights that you have been here with me. Thank you, right? Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help and your participation during this course. You did a great job, right? So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Good night. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Espero verlos por ahí en algún otro curso, ¿verdad? Bien. ¿Algún comentario? Any comment? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Thank you. Eh, cuando, es, cuando es inglés para, para ONGs o empresas, ¿usted da los cursos o solo da estos? Mm, solo estos, solo estos. ¿De una hora? Sí, solo esto de una hora. Ah, oh, ok. Uh, thank you and I miss you. Bye. Okay. I'm going to miss you too, guys. So take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you too. So bye bye, Cristina. Bye, Byron. Bye, Blanca. Bye bye, Emma. See you around. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.